Now, when it comes to weightlifting and just being a healthy individual overall, cardio is important. Back in 2022, when I started weightlifting again after having a really low point in my life and wanting to turn it around by working out, I almost never did cardio. I didn't do cardio for warmups, didn't do it for cool downs. I just thought it was a waste of time. I really wanted to focus on building muscle mass and just overall strength in the gym. And I was able to achieve that, but by not doing cardio, I really lacked in different areas of athleticism that I didn't really think about at the time. For example, let's say I went for a quick little jog around the neighborhood or playing with my friends. I would like run out of breath so damn easily. Like, was I really strong in the gym? Could lift heavy ass weight and bench, squat, deadlift? Fuck yeah, was it cool? Hell yeah, but in different aspects of fitness, I was just like completely lacking. I just couldn't really keep up with my other peers. Then recently in 2024, I wanted to like change this around. I wanted to become more athletic, you know, not be able to run out of breath each time I go for a uh, run or walk, anything like that. But the one type of cardio I started doing was more high intensity cardio. Because if you don't know, doing low intensity cardio, like when I say low intensity, like, you know, light jogging, that kind of stuff, it really does work against trying to build muscle because it eats away at the, um, at muscle and fat, not just fat. And at the same time, it makes you hungrier, so it makes you like more prone to overeating and like not sticking to your diet and just ruining your overall like fitness routine if you're like you're a strict bodybuilder or power lifter. But if you're more into like, you know, high intensity stuff, jump rope, sprinting, swimming, that kind of stuff, that is very, very good for you and also will help you build muscle at the same time with your weightlifting routine. And recently I've joined a Muay Thai gym. So if you guys don't know Muay Thai, basically a martial arts style, you just like, what I do, I go around twice a week, Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and there that's where I get the bulk of the majority of my cardio. Now, it's really, really fucking intense. We're doing like, you know, burpees for warmups, we're doing like um, little sprints, that kind of stuff. And during the actual drills, we're just really focusing on explosive power and just doing the drills over and over again, like throwing a punch over and over again or throwing a kick, it really does like wear you out and tire you the fuck out. And that's an amazing example of like, you know, getting high intensity cardio into your workout routine that won't really mess with your weight gain, your muscle gain in the gym, like how normal jogging would. Also on days where I don't go to Muay Thai because I only go twice a week, for high intensity cardio, I do jump ropes. Now for me, I love doing jump ropes. It's a mad simple and easy way to like, you know, get your daily cardio in. You can do it for five to 10 minutes and that's all you fucking need for a day, in my opinion, no cap. You don't gotta do it for like an hour straight or 30 minutes like with jogging, that kind of shit, or walking. You could just get it done real fast, done nice and easy, that kind of stuff. Also, another way to build your cardio, it's gonna sound funny, but doing yo, doing like really, really light, but like um fast squats, bro, in my opinion, it feels like a whole cardio session. Like for me, doing like lightweight with squats and just going for hella reps, it does tire me the fuck out a lot more than like doing a, a low, you know, like a, a low rep range with a heavy ass weight. I don't know why, probably just cause my cardio is like really fucking not bad and like I gotta train on it more. That's why I'm doing more time, that kind of stuff. But you don't take cardio for granted. There's a lot of people who think cardio is just overall negative and they're thinking about only about jogging. But there are other different forms of cardio besides jogging that won't affect your muscle gain in the gym that are so extremely, extremely beneficial for your health. Like no cap, you're getting this cardio in from jump rope, sprinting, swimming, walking. It's gonna really help your heart health because if you guys don't know, the heart is a muscle and it does need to be worked out. If you keep putting on mass and mass and mass over the years while not also training your heart to like get stronger and like just be more efficient at pumping blood throughout the body, you're gonna have heart problems in the future like so many bodybuilders do in like their 40s and 50s. You don't fucking want that. If you want to be like a healthy individual late into like their life, like the 40s, 50s, 60s, while at the same time also being athletic, it's really, really imperative you do cardio, mostly high intensity and or walking. If you don't want to do jogging, that's fine. I hate jogging. I don't do it either. I think it's a waste of time. And like I said before, it goes against my own goals for my fitness journey. But sprinting, swimming, that kind of stuff is no excuse for me not to do it. It's going to be a net positive for my overall goals in fitness and for my overall health in the future. So with that being said, bro, really try some high intensity cardio that you could like. There are different kinds out there. There's not only a single one. Just experiment with them, see what you could love and what you stick with. I promise you're gonna be super, super thankful within like five to 10 years coming time if you stay consistent with it. So with that being said, bro, do some fucking cardio and I'll catch you later.